Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back. My name is Shanika and if you are new here, I release seated slow flows and yin yoga practices. So today I have a lovely yin at the wall practice. This one is great for um, if you're feeling anxious, overwhelmed, or maybe you're just, uh, you tend to ruminate or you're in your head a lot. I find that doing a yin yoga practice against the wall is a really great way to just let go. You're, there's there's nothing really to think about because you're just allowing gravity to do the work and you can settle and quiet the mind. So having said that, whether you're a beginner or a seasoned yoga practitioner, uh, you will benefit from today's practice. So you will not need any props. However, if when you swing your legs up the wall, you feel much more comfortable with placing a block or a pillow underneath your hips, uh, you can grab that and have it on standby. But other than that, no props are required. I hope you enjoy the practice today and I will see you on the mat. So we are going to start by bringing our um, shins to the wall. So this is going to be a variation of Sphinx. So finding a piece of wall with your knees bent, you're going to bring your shins up against the wall and bring the belly to the floor. If you'd like, you can place a bolster underneath your chest to help prop yourself up. Otherwise, we're here. Elbows are in line with your shoulders. Just taking a few neck rotations here. So everything below the waist is nice and relaxed. Really thinking about breathing into the low back. Noticing the gentle push of the belly into the floor. Last few breaths here.
Let's take our last two breaths. Nice big inhale. And sigh it out. One more inhale. And let it go. Very gently bring the elbows out wide and just allow the forehead to rest on stacked palms. Very gently from here, rolling over onto your side. And you're just going to bring your hips to the wall. We'll be making our way in two legs up the wall. So bringing one hip to the wall and then swinging the legs all the way up. You can also place a bolster underneath your hips if um, it's too, too uncomfortable with your hips on the floor. So from here, once you have your hips up against the wall, you're just gonna move your hips away or your bum away from the wall slightly. From here, bend the left knee, so bring the sole of the left foot to the floor. You're gonna take your right foot and cross it over the left knee. So that right foot is flexed. And what you're looking for is you want to make sure you're not picking your hips off, the, off of the floor. Your hips should be nicely grounded. So that might mean that you need to shimmy your left foot up the wall just a little bit more to make the cross of the, of the ankle over the knee a little bit more comfortable. And while you're here, you can gently push away on your right knee with your right hand. Totally up to you. You can bring your arms out by your side. few deep breaths. Last few breaths here.
nice big inhale. And sigh it out. One more inhale. And let it go. Gently uncrossing the right knee, right ankle from the left knee. And bring both legs up for a moment. We'll do this on the other side. So bring the sole of the right foot to the to the wall and then taking the left ankle and crossing it over. So again, making sure your hips are not lifting off the floor. Your hips should be nicely grounded. So uh, if you find that the hips are lifting up off the mat, maybe you need to move further away from the wall or maybe you need to inchworm your right foot higher up the wall. Last few breaths here. Take our last two breaths, a nice big inhale. And sigh it out. One more inhale. And exhale. Gently uncross. Bring the soles of the feet back to the wall and extend the legs up for a moment.
So from here, we're going to bring our feet about hips width distance, if not wider, and then bring the pinky toe edge of the foot to the, to the wall, and then just allow your knees to drop down. So it's almost as if you're in a, if you were to take a happy baby and just rest your feet against the wall. So you should be feeling a nice opening through the inner thigh, the groin. And you can make this as big as you'd like. And then once you've become settled here in this variation of happy baby slash frog, you can extend one leg out to the side. So for me, I'm extending the left left leg out to the side. My heel is pushing into the floor. And then you want to think about tilting your hip bones forward. So rocking your hip bones forward to feel a stretch, more of an, a stretch on the inside of that uh, hamstring. And again, just allowing gravity to do the work. Last few breaths on this side. Let's take our last two breaths here. Nice big inhale. And sigh it out. One more inhale. And let it go. Very gently. Taking your left hand onto your left leg and coaxing it closed. Right leg comes up to meet the left. So let's go ahead, bring our feet out nice and wide. Pinky toe edge of the feet is pressing against the wall. And then allow the knees to drop open any amount. Once you've settled here, you're
you're going to extend that right leg out to the side with the right heel pushing into the floor, or sorry, pushing into the wall. Last few breaths here. Take our last two breaths, a nice big inhale. And sigh it out. One more inhale. And let it go. Very gently. Drawing that right leg all the way back up. Left leg comes to meet it. A few breaths here.
the last few breaths here. Let's take our last two breaths, nice big inhale. And sigh it out. One more inhale. And let it go. Gently bend the knees. And we're going to come into a twist from here. So you might need to shimmy yourself away from the wall just a little bit. And keeping the soles of the feet pressing up against the wall, you're going to drop both knees to the right. Oh. So again, pushing into that right elbow, Pick up your chest and rotate it just a little bit more towards the ceiling. You can also place your right hand on top of the left knee if that feels good. Last few breaths on this side. Take our last two breaths, a nice big inhale. And sigh it out. One more inhale. And exhale. Very gently bringing the feet Back up the wall, bringing the knees back through center. 
maybe readjust the hips and we'll do this on the other side so dropping both knees down now to the left soles of the feet pressing into the wall push down into the left elbow pick up the chest rotate it a little bit more towards the ceiling and again place your left hand on top of the right knee up to you Last few breaths here. Our last two breaths, a nice big inhale. And sigh it out. One more inhale. And exhale. So gently from here, extend that left arm up, roll over onto your side. Let's take a moment. Very gently pushing down into your fingertips to draw yourself all the way up. And we're just going to lean back against the wall. So just finding a seated position. Just allowing yourself to lean back. Just allowing the blood to settle, the mind and body to settle.
feeling free to stay here. Maybe you drop into meditation. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this practice today. And if you did, leave me a comment. Let me know how you got on. Share it with friends and family. And I will see you back here again soon for another practice. Thank you.